Hey everyone, so this is my intro video for my newest Project 10 Pan. I kind of took a break from Project Pans and the seasonal challenges, mostly because, um, you know, when I do Project 10 Pans, I prefer them to be all makeup products, and I really didn't have a lot of products that were near, you know, like halfway or so done, um, and I didn't want to start one and then be stuck with things for, you know, like six, seven, eight months. So I am pretty confident with the items I have here in front of me. Um, and a few of them are going to be a little bit challenging, I think, but I think it's going to be good overall. So I did post a picture on my Instagram and, um, those, that was, you know, the first picture, the best update. I don't have the sheet with all the lines with me, but I'll, sh you know, I'll scroll up each product and show you how much I have left. But um, there might be a little bit of progress now, but like I said, I don't have the sheet, so you won't be able to tell really. So I'm planning to do an update for you guys every two-ish weeks. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So um, I have a lot of lip products, and so I think I'm going to start there. So I have a lip balm. This is the Lipsil Lip Balm, and this is one that um, since it's been winter, I've been keeping this in my coat pocket. And it's just been nice to have, um, it's a really nice waxy lip balm. And so this is where I'm at. It scrolled all the way up there. So I don't have that much left. This is one that I just, you know, carry on with me, reapply when I'm watching TV, watching Netflix, I'm in class, studying, you know, whatever. This is just the one that I always have on hand. So this is the first product. Um, the next lip product is a lip liner, and this was one where I don't know how I'm going to do with it. I do have it on today with a lipstick over it, which is also in the project, so I'll show you that in a second. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips. It's the retractable pencil, and this is in the shade Baby Berry. So, I have a lot of this left, but I always fill in my lips, um, along with lining them when I use a lip liner. So that's where I'm at. I, th I mean, I know it's gone down because I have been using it. And this is a shade that um, isn't my normal, but it's not bad. It's just kind of like a pinky mauve shade. I do like it. It does pair well. It makes my lips a little bit darker than they normally are, but, you know, I'm adapting well to it. So there's my second item. The lipstick that I have over top of the um, lip liner is my NARS Dolce Vita lipstick. You guys know I've been working on using this up. I love this lipstick. Um, but I kind of broke the packaging, but that's where I'm at. So if I scroll down this plastic part, that's all I have left there. It's just a little nub. That's what I have on. I just can probably reapply a little bit right now. So this is um, also a product that I want to finish up in 2016, so it's perfect to just throw into um, this project pan. This I put on in the morning, um, just throughout the day when I remember really, so there's that. And then I also have a lip gloss. This is the lip gloss that has been living in my car for probably the last, I don't know, two-ish months or so. This is the Tarte Lip Gloss in 40 Winks. It's discontinued. I am about halfway. I have a line there. I also marked it in my book, um, just like by laying it down, so we can, you know, track it both ways because I know that sharpie marks on my lip glosses always rub off and that's hard for me to tell so I decided to mark it both ways so this is um the gloss I like it it's pretty sticky um but like tomorrow I am driving um home to visit family and that's like a three and a half four hour car ride so this is the only thing I'll be re reapplying to my lips the whole time and then I have to come back as well so I think I'll get a lot of use out of it within the next week or so Okay, now I have a few eye products, and they're both eyeliners, and so they're right here. The first one is one that you guys know I've been talking about for a long time. If you watch any of my um, bi-weekly makeup baskets, it is the Tarte Inner Rim Liner in the shade Nude. I love this. I use it in my waterline every single day. This is all I have left. Hopefully, you can see that there against my sweatshirt. It's not a lot. Um, it's just a little baby nubbin, so I think this will probably last me like a month and then I'll be gone, so there's that. And then I have another eyeliner. This is from Laura Geller, and it is the Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Brown Eyed Girl. And so it's just this dark, um, kind of chocolate brown shade, and it has some sparkles in it. So that's what I've been using every day to, um, you know, line my upper lash line. I do set it with the powder from my Tarte the Magnificent Pan That Palette, um, just to make it a little bit like deeper, darker, and to get rid of the glitter. Not that I don't like the glitter, but um, it just magnifies it a little bit more. So I do like this. I like that it has a little sharpener on the end, so I can you know kind of point up the tip if I want to, get a more precise line. So that is the other eye product. Um, now I just have some kind of face 
things. I do have an eyebrow product. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. You can't really tell because the writing's all rubbed off. But this is in the shade Taupe. I've had this for a while. I do actually quite like this. And I at first was like, nah, I don't need that. I am kind of thinking about getting another one. So it has a spoolie on one side and then the pencil on the other. And I really don't have much left. Um, this is going to be done within a couple of days. I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell. Um, there's just a little nub. I've been using only this to do my brows this whole week. So that's really helped me go through it because normally I kind of alternate between this and my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. So um, yeah, I have been loving this and been going through it really quick. This will definitely be done by the first update, I think. Okay, so for face products, I have a primer. This is my favorite primer of all time. I just bought a backup because I don't want to be out of it when I finish this. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. I love this stuff. It's not necessarily a pore minimizer um, like the silicone ones are. This is more of a lotion consistency. I just love this stuff. I've raved about this for years and years. It's my all-time favorite. So anyway, I am right here, um, if you can see that black mark there, and I just did that by, you know, kind of folding it down. So that's where I'm at. This will go quick. I use it every day. I don't use that much. Um, just I found that, you know, I just need a small amount, you know, about the size of the pad of my finger, and then I put that all over my face, and it works really well for me. So there's that. I have a concealer. This is from Cover FX. It is the Blemish Treatment Concealer, and I have mine in the shade N Light, and it's just a stick concealer. It's the one I use on my face, so that's how much product I have left, um, and this is nice. I really do enjoy using this concealer. Um, I do prefer like kind of a stick-like concealer for my face, so this is really nice. I just use it on blemishes, um, and it, I like it. So, I mean, hopefully I don't go through that fast because that would mean I'm not breaking out that much. And I really haven't been breaking out that much. I just have occasional, you know, little bumps and red marks. So I use this to cover it up. So there's that. And then my tenth and last item is a bronzer. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And if you watched my Pan That Palette, um, I finished up the NARS Laguna in my Pan That Palette, so I'm really excited about that. Just so I know that um, this is in my 16 products I want to use up in 2016. So I thought I might as well just throw it into the pan, project pan. I've been using this bronzer, bronzer already, so it's not a big deal to just keep using it. So this is the um, duo with Laguna and Laguna and um, Orgasm, and the Orgasm doesn't pick up. That much um, color anymore so this is a dud to me and I already have this in my um, other palette so I'm not really worried about it I'm just focusing on the bronzer which I do already have pan on and I am kind of working on this side and then I'm going to flip the way my brush goes into it and wear down this side as well so I think this will go pretty quick it's a small pan it already has pan on it so I, I don't think that'll be a big deal, um, and I'm just going to be using that as my bronzer every day. I do have it on just lightly today. I've been noticing that um, the past couple weeks I've been going pretty overboard with bronzer because I was trying to use that one up for my pan that palette, so I'm just trying to back it up a little bit. I don't need to look super bronze, just enough, you know, to kind of define my face and, um, you know, shape it. So those are the 10 products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm really excited to have a Project 10 pan you know, starting and everything like that. If you have one going and I'm not watching it, do let me know. I don't always comment. I do my best to comment, but sometimes I just don't and I forget. So um, yeah, I do love watching Project 10 pans, um, any kind of seasonal projects like that. I just think find it so motivating and it's really nice because some of my goals this year um, of using up products like my 16 and 2016, some of them are in this, you know, projects like this and um, this guy and this guy and this guy. So like some of these are already in other projects, but it's nice to have them a little bit more focused. And also, you know, I have the goal of using up 10 lip products this year. So, you know, here's four right here. So it'd be awesome if I can use them all up, you know, relatively quickly um, in the next couple of months and then have four checked off for my, um, you know, overall year goals. So Thank you guys for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really appreciate you, you know, taking the time to watch this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to join me and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.